Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the podcast. Uh, if you're new, uh, welcome. If you're a veteran, thanks for uh, coming back to us. Uh, we're, we're excited. We're getting more subscribers now, which is kind of neat to... Yeah, uh, slowly growing. Need That's to, yeah, neat to see that. And uh, actually, Hans was talking to someone just literally right before our recording that they got uh, the, one of the recordings shared with them to listen. So that's... Yeah, share your videos, guys. If, yeah. you, if you think somebody can help, be helped by what I'm saying, yeah. you know, I'm not saying yeah. I'm genius or whatever, but uh, if, if you think that what I'm talking about could help to some of your friends or somebody, just please... Yep. Uh, what is it? Share. 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 Yeah, share. Right? share, share, share. share yeah. You know. Yeah. And we hope that if you're new, new right now, that after you're listening, you will you will share uh, this episode or some other ones. But we're gonna talk today about why the why the German Shepherd. Is, why German Shepherd? Why Why German Shepherd? Maybe yeah, that's, that's the name of the title. Right? Why German Shepherd? Shepherd? Question mark. Right. Why German Shepherd? There you go. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. So Hans, uh, you've been at this for over fifty years. So when you guys listening to this, you're you really have someone explaining from his that's fifty plus years of experience. So yeah. yeah. So why German Shepherd such a good breed? Should I give you the one page book the, version, the one, or do you want me to? So Hans, <laughs> Hans is going to write a book on this topic, and it's going to be books, one set, bunch bo- of books, books, but one sentence. What is that going to be in there? Yeah, like one. <laughs> the, my first book on that theme would be back then when I was living up in Wyoming at a firewood yeah. logging business. Yeah. So I was going to write a book, uh, how to make a million dollars in firewood logging business. Yep. Well, there's a call. <laughs> God. And. Yeah. Uh, I can tell it's one of those robocalls. Let me turn it off. <laughs> um, and uh, and and so how to how to make million dollars on firewood logging business and and so you would open it and then there would be one blank page and then you open yeah. that and there would be says forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. You know, so we can do the same one on how to. <laughs> Why German Shepherd? Yeah, why German Shepherd? And would open it up and say, why not, right? Why not? <laughs> or it's the best breed in the world, right? <laughs> in the world. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. Uh, what what makes a German Shepherd uh, the most popular breed in the world or most known? You know, you can yeah. tell, I mean, Labrador Retriever in America, right? I guess, yeah. right? But... But you can, you can uh, in the world, you tell somebody in, uh, I don't know, uh, Rwanda, Burundi, what Labrador Pakistan. Retriever is, yeah. they would know, maybe. Yeah. But there is, I don't think there is any sane person above 20 years of age who would, or, or even 12 years of age who wouldn't know what German Shepherd is. Yeah. yeah. Right? And why is that? You know? Of course, popularity started with Rin Tin Tin and all that, right? Yeah. But who knows even if Rin Tin Tin was a really true German Shepherd. You know the story of Rin Tin Tin? The true story or the yeah, be- behind the true Rin Tin Tin. Uh, no. I really don't remember it in detail, so I yeah. may say something wrong. But basically, what happened was uh, during World War One, uh-huh. uh, World War Two. See, I don't even know that, but yeah. I think it was World War One. Yeah. Um, the American soldiers they were in France, mm-hmm. and uh, this soldier he just sees this puppy there running around, so he picked it up. And he brought it to America, and it was Rin Tin Tin. Mm. I don't know if it was one or two, doesn't, World War I or World mm-hmm. II, doesn't matter, right? Mm-hmm. But that's the story that's of the it. true Rin Tin Tin. And of course, then there was many other Rin Tin Tins. I see, okay. You know, after that. Yeah, yeah. You know, and they all look kind of different a little bit, I yeah. can tell, you know. Yeah. It's like, it's like when they were making the movie with, okay, so let's say Lassie, right, for mm-hmm. example, yeah. right? They made a movie about Lassie, obviously, right? Yeah. And, 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 and you know what? When they made the first movie, all those scenes were made by one lassie, one, okay. one collie, okay. right? One collie. Yeah. And then, you know, there was, the, there, there was a bunch of other movies made. And, and I'm looking at this one movie. I was training dogs for people, uh, do, their dog. And, mm-hmm. and, I, I, and, and they were something doing, and their children were watching Lassie mm-hmm. on a TV, mm-hmm. Right. And so I sit on the couch waiting for the people to put their stuff together so we can start their dog, training their dog. And uh, and I'm watching this, and I see all these dogs running there. Yeah. And I say, well, what are all these dogs? And they said, that's Lassie. I said, no, it's, that's a different dog than before. They used, I, I've heard, up to 80 different collies wow. for... The movie for yeah. different scene each, right? Wow. So this dog knew this and this dog do that. Yeah. 
and uh, and and so because of why? Because Collies back then, just like German Shepherd, used to be really versatile, mm-hmm. right? So it could be one collie who could do all that stuff or one Rin Tin Tin who could do all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But then later on, when they were making additional movies, suddenly they couldn't find dogs who would be able to do all those things. Was it because of the popularity of, of after the movie well, and they started overbreeding? Well, people didn't breed for the right thing, yeah, yeah, right? You, say, yeah. you know, the specialization kills the reason for the breed. Yeah. Okay. And, 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 and so they have to use the uh, same thing, you know, they even when they did uh, the movies, they, they would take a paint and paint the dog. Really? Literally, to with like sure a brush that they... looks like mm-hmm. the one before. <laughs> but I could tell because I'm yeah. a dog man, right? So, so I, could, I could look at the, uh, the dog and I said, that's not the dog which was there five seconds ago, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but you know what? There is no more versatile breed than German Shepherd. No. Okay, as none. Yeah, and uh, and people are killing the breed by specializing it for sport or this or that. Show, you know, show, yeah. right? That's completely almost different well, breed now. You know? Yeah, I know. And uh, and and so so when you are selecting a dog, you know, uh, you need to vote with your dollar. You always say that, and yeah, you know, yeah, and, and know. you know what that means, right? Yeah. You're buying yeah. the dog for the breeders who do the right thing. Yeah, and and so you know, even if you're let's say police officer, so don't don't buy dog for aggression or for uh, uh, high prey drive or defense drive or whatever. Buy the dog which is versatile, which can do it all. Okay, and look at those dogs. What can they do? Are they protective? Right? Are they having good prey drive, right? Those are the main two drives. That's what I was going to ask you here. If someone's watching this right now, okay, Hans, you're telling me do this, but I'm, I'm kind of new to to this. How would I, and that's what you're explaining here, but like if, if someone is, I want a German Shepherd, Hans, so bad, so how, but I don't know anything about German Shepherds. Well, okay, so, yeah, so, so here is the way... Yeah. You select a breeder. That's what okay. you're asking me. Yeah, yeah. I, I want a German Shepherd, but well, I don't know. All right. So what yeah. you what you need to do? Okay. You you. I know it's hard. You know. You yeah. one day you wake up and you say, "Oh, I want to get me a dog." Yeah. Right. I always wanted and, a German and, Shepherd. And so 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 I always wanted one. So yeah. I have a midlife crisis. So I'm gonna give me a German Shepherd. Right? Yeah. <laughs> whatever though. Yeah. Whatever. Like the reason. I need my. You know. I had special forces guys. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, coming to me and saying, "Hey, I need. I, I'm going to Afghanistan, and I would like to have a good dog for protection of my family." I mean, yeah. Right? Yeah. And there, you know, and so, so, so you 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 select the breeder um, by dealing with the person whom you trust. Okay. If you don't trust the breeder. Now there's con artists, you know, yeah. and they make you trust them, yeah. right? Yeah. But you got to do your homework. Okay. And you know, you can go on the internet and people tell you bad thing about anybody. I'm sure there's yeah. there's yeah. a load of people who can tell crap about me, yeah. right? And you know, so you you're like, you do something long enough, you, <laughs> yeah. You know, so yeah. you gotta kind of sift yeah. through it, yeah. you know. Yeah. And I like this Chinese proverb which says, "Ask thousand people and then make up your own mind," mm-hmm. right? You know, that's 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 I go by that a lot. And so, uh, you know, you, listen, you you talk to people, you listen to them. And so, so you know, and, and, and don't say, hey, what kind of dogs you breed, right? Just, just, just start talking. Hey, I'm thinking buying a dog. And see what they ask you for, right? Mm-hmm. What, what, what do they ask you? Don't tell them for what. But, ask, but listen, are they, my, like my first question when somebody yeah. asks me about dogs, that they would like to buy a dog, my first question is, what do you want the dog for, right? And they say, for family. Well, there's no more need for versatile dog as dog for family. The other dogs, like for police or so, they can be specialized. But, you know, the good German Shepherd uh, should be able to do any task. You put him on, it could be search and rescue dog, seeing eye dog, uh, police dog, special forces dog, family dog, personal protection, yeah. personal protection, yeah. of course, yeah. Yeah. And 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 in family, 
dog, you have all these things there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And most people are buying dogs for family dog. Yeah. Right? So what do you want from family? You dog. You wanna you want the dog to be discriminative, right? And that's where the versatility comes in. You want to have a natural discrimination. What is part of natural discrimination? Part of natural discrimination is uh, that the dog got to be able to be protective when necessary and being friendly when necessary. And that is then enhanced by the training, but he got to have the genetic predisposition of it. So again, going back to the breeder, when you're asking a breeder, I want to always hear what do you want the dog for, right? And there are certain variations. Some dogs may, may be versatile, right? But they're more protective, mm -hmm. you know, or more prey drive. So mm -hmm. you want a dog for sport, so I pick up the one which is more prey driven, right? Mm -hmm. I want a dog for family, got to be all around dog, right? And, and once somebody starts breeding, <coughs> <coughs> but once somebody starts breeding for specific task, like for for for, mm -hmm. for uh, sport, sport, yeah, or for police or whatever, yeah. whatever specific, yeah. you know, besides family, yeah. uh, because you need everything there, yeah. Uh, but any narrow field mm -hmm. of spe specialization. You are basically ruining the breed because the breed needs to be versatile. If I, I should be able to take German Shepherd and turn him into search and rescue dog. I should be able to take that very same dog and turn him into police dog. As mm -hmm. a matter of fact, these days people uh, don't believe that you can do search and rescue and police at the same time. I've done it, Teton County Sheriff's Department, Wyoming, a dog named Blitz. Right? He was a police dog, like a bite dog, and mm -hmm. he kick ass mm -hmm. in, in real life scenarios. <laughs> mm -hmm. And he was an amazing search and rescue dog. Wow. You know, you can do both. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the dog is versatile. He can decide, and discriminative. Mm -hmm. He can decide, he, he's going to be lovey-dovey when you're a friend, and he's going to kick your ass uh, when yeah. somebody kicks your door in, right? Yeah. I sold a dog, I remember, to these people... His name was Art. If you look at my website, he's that dog which sits in Monument Valley in front of a little mm -hmm. tiny picture of him. Okay. A great dog. Kind of show dog looking dog, you know. Yeah. And I sold him to these people back east. I forgot their name and whatever. And if they ever will hear this story, I hope they're gonna call me back and say, Hey, that's me. Oh, that's me. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And I sold them the dog and, and it was like a couple. Mm -hmm. And they went. They came here to my place and got a handler's course and all that. And they and they um, then they went home to take the dog and and home. And they in staying in their house for you know I don't know several weeks or even months. Uh -huh. And they slept upstairs and dog would stay you know like the dogs like right by the door to door, see yeah. what the heck is going on. Yeah. Right? And their son came. Uh -huh which was in college for like six months and you know oh, so the dog never the dog never saw the guy yeah, and, yeah. and and the uh, and the uh, uh, guy never saw the dog yeah right the son yeah so the guy walks in and dog just pin him against the wall right yeah you know and 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 looking at him and every time the guy tried to move the dog went after him right so he yeah. stood there pin against the wall right uh -huh. And the people then woke up in the morning and there is their son standing <laughs> in <laughs> ash colored face yeah. against the wall and the dog staring him in the eyes. He was there for several hours, man. You know? And that's a good dog, right? Yeah, yeah. Right there, versatile dog. And nobody trained him that. He just he said, Hey, you don't belong here, MF, yeah. right? Yeah. So <laughs> I had another similar story just like that. You yeah. know? So I, I've seen this twice. So it's all right. I'm not going to bore you with their story because it's a carbon copy of this one. Yeah. You know, and uh, and so so you always look uh, for the versatility. I don't care if you're a cop yeah. or search and rescue. Always look for the versatility in the breed of German Shepherd. Mm -hmm. That's where the uh, forte or the strong point of the breed is, the versatility. Once you start breeding for narrow things, you know, like, you know, like sport or yeah. so, you, you're destroying the breed. Yeah. It's sad and it's happening all the time. The, and I see it all the time. And it's just, 
It's just sad. It's just, I, I, you know, it's like looking at America dying, right? Yeah, so basically, um, we're recording this in 2023. Um, you would say there's more more breathers of that kind than... What the, kind? Uh, meaning that more specializing yeah. than... Yeah, I mean, uh, the, in you your know, opinion. like, like I, I, I like to trade in stock market. And you're looking where the stock is going up or down, right? Yeah. And, and you... you, you you don't look necessarily for the price of the stock, but on the trend of the stock. Is yeah. it going? And, and I'm looking at the trend of the breed of German Shepherd and it's going down. Okay. Right? And if you want a really specialized dog, because you don't know how to train normal dog, just get a Malinois. Right? Nothing wrong with Malinois, but they're yeah. a narrowly specialized breed. Yeah. You know, and uh, they have super high prey drive. And if you know what you're doing, you will find out that good Malinois has also good defense drive. Mm-hmm. But they're just, they're just, I kick your ass dogs. Yeah. You know, but who needs that? All Family? The time. No. All the time, Maybe yeah. police. Yeah. That's why yeah. they're so popular. Jail. Yeah. 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 You know, but otherwise they're useless for, and you know, the popularity, uh, they're useless for family life because they're very dangerous. And with very few people who are uh, really good at handling dogs and training dogs, can have these dogs in family. People's wife dog like that in family. Yeah. So you're either lucky or you know what you are doing consciously or subconsciously. Yeah. You know, some people are just, there's still yeah. people like that yeah. uh, who are naturally. But it's a small number. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what, uh, who are naturally able to handle and train dog like that. And yeah. usually they need to be very dominant. And today's this society is getting softer and softer, more permissible and all that. And you take dog, any dog really, including yeah. shepherd, uh, uh, but especially with high-driven dogs, and you tell, you 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 become like really permissible to the breed. Yeah, man, they kick your ass. Yeah. I mean, they 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 cause all sorts of problems, bite the wrong people. Yeah, you know, and all that because they 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 take the decision in their own paw, so to speak. Yeah, because they don't respect you as a leader, yeah. right? And yeah. then you are in super. High problem. I don't want to talk against Malinois. I had a few Malinois and they're yeah. great dogs. Yeah. But you need to understand for what? They're narrowly focused like a laser beam. Breed. And if that's what you want, just that and nothing else, <clears throat> hey, you know what? But don't try to turn German Shepherd into Belgian Malinois. Yeah. They're mixing them now. They try to breathe. Yeah, because they want more versatility yeah, and yeah. size in the Malinois. So, so then why don't you buy a shepherd then? <laughs> like, hey, man, you know, don't talk to me about they, that. <laughs> they, so, so, you, you, so that's one question you asked to the breather, as you said. What? Okay, so what other questions? Well, you got to listen to the breeder. Okay. You know, what, what they start telling you, if, you know, about the breed. And, and you want to you wanna hear the breeder telling you, you know, uh, about their dogs, that they're versatile. Yeah. If they start to, oh, my dogs have high drive, uh, I would say, oh, kid, yeah. you know, you know, other things, uh, you know, they may want to ask you, do you have children, you know, you have, uh, you know, are you going to train the dog, are you going to do sport, are you, you know, mm-hmm. whatever, okay. you know, do you have, but, but, but they ask you about your family situation, Yeah. you know, are you living alone, I can sell you hard the dog, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. Are you growing marijuana in woods? <laughs> <laughs> it now doesn't matter. Now it's legal. So this now it's legal. So, <laughs> but uh, but you know, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you just look for the purpose the people want, yeah. and and that, and if people ask you this, you know, but they still have to always emphasize the breeder has to always emphasize the versatility of the breed, and if you are breeder, I beg you. Mm-hmm. Breed for versatility. Don't breed for super high drive, you know, of any sort, defense or prey. Yeah. Right. Especially you want to see in the German Shepherd two things, three things: N- good prey drive, good defense drive, and good discrimination abilities. Okay. If you enjoyed this content so far, please subscribe to our channel. Also, Hans has a podcast channel called Dog Training for Life. Check that out so you can listen to the audio version. You know, without any training, just genetics. Just genetics, yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, that, that's big because if someone's listening to this, we just want to empower them, or I should say you want to try to empower them to make sure that they're asked the right 
question or what they should be looking for. The main thing you is know? just shut up and listen to the breeder. Okay. Right. If they, you know, what are the red flags in your opinion? If you hear, if they are not willing to talk to you, if okay. they don't have time, you know, if they, you know, if they want, if you, if, if they want money from uh, their your pocket into their pocket, and that's all they care about, mm -hmm. you know, like, all right, yeah, I have puppies that are thirty five hundred bucks. Uh, you know, send me the money. Here's the account number. Mm -hmm. You know, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, right. What do you want? You know, I'll tell you the price. If you ask me for price, I'll tell you up front. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because I got to qualify my buyers. And uh, I mean, I talk to anybody, even if they don't buy a dog, right? Yeah. But I want to qualify my buyer, right? Yeah. What yeah. do they want to talk about? Is it just kicking tires? There's off scams going on and all yeah. that. Yeah. So I tell you the price. And, you know, sometimes people shrink into their shell and they go away. Mm -hmm. I don't want that. You know, okay, you, you, it's too much money. Fine. I understand. Yeah. But, you know, I still can help you or talk to you. Yeah. And if you see this type of attitude, yeah. you know, um, then... Uh, a warning sign. You know, that, and, and you know what? I, I qualify my buyers too, right? Uh -huh. That's like, it's like if some, I tell somebody the price and I said, you know, and they, they, they just hang up. Well, I'm glad yeah, that yeah. I didn't talk You knew to that that was not going <laughs> to... Yeah. It, it's Wasting it's, your time. It's not the person I would like to have my dog. Yeah. All right, because it's sort of a longer relationship when you when somebody buys yeah. a dog from you. It's not like you just buy a dog from you. They right. they call you. They I mean, yeah. Right? And a lot of people who's uh, who bought puppies from me or yeah. dogs from yeah. me or whose dogs I trained, they become really good friends. As a matter of fact, I don't have any friends which I wouldn't meet through dogs. Dogs. Yeah. Good gobbler here. Yeah. <laughs> the way, yeah, that's how. Originally, I I was looking. We were looking to buy a dog, and then, and then I showed up for training. And next thing I know, I'm in the middle of training, and Hans is yeah. <laughs> yelling at me, holding the leash wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he bought dogs somewhere else. And, and uh, uh, originally, I bought the yeah. Yeah, don't say person. names. No, no, no. We're and, not gonna uh, say and 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 he. Uh, and he came just to talk to me. I'll enroll him right in my class and start kicking his ass. I know. They, <laughs> they want. And that was about two years ago. So Yeah, now we're doing podcasts together yeah. and videos. And yeah. we're good friends and, at least. And there's a dog. We bought a dog from uh, from Hans. Uh, she's awesome. Awesome dog. We love you, Rena. She's such a good dog. Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah, she's a she's a bad bitch, man. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to break into his house. Yeah. She's a, <laughs> now I know what Hans means by the females. You know, the protectiveness of. Her. Yeah, it's another thing. You know, when you're selecting dog, you know, you people always ask me, oh, what, yeah, that's well, a good what one. breed should I? I mean, oh, what sex yeah, should I? That's a good one. Yeah. People call it gender. You know, it drives yeah. me crazy. <laughs> you know what gender is? Gender compares to sex. Uh, gender. Is grammar, you know, fem, male, female, and neutral, a feminine, masculine, and neutral. It's the gen, either. It's, 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 it's not the gender of the dog. It's the yeah. Versus sex is what you have between the legs, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you're talking about puppies, you know, people people say, "Well, what gender is he?" I say, "He's a masculine." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a big pause. <laughs> You know, yeah. actually, I've heard this uh, topic when I was listening to talk show when G. Gordon Liddy was still around, and he was big deal. He had a, he, he had a big uh, issue with the same thing. Uh -huh. And when you look in the uh, old Oxford uh, dictionaries, Dictionary. which you know, that's one of the things I'm passing my time with. You yeah. know, I <laughs> look in the. 1956 uh, Oxford Dictionary. I read. I read there. You know, <laughs> while he's watching sumo. <laughs> while I'm watching sumo. <laughs> the cat's out of the bag. People know now. Yeah. The sumo. <laughs> yeah, they stop the show on the TV, man. The I have no sumo now. Oh man. Oh, it pissed me off. This Japanese TV station. They they used to have sumo, you know, yeah. and it was called <laughs> Sumo Highlights. And I watched it religiously every day before I went to sleep. All these tournaments. It's gone. Yeah. You know, That's why you've been acting differently lately. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. I, so, don't need, I don't need that for No, that. I <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, male or female. That's a yeah, good Yeah. So, so the male or female, you know, people ask me, you know, what sex should I get? And, 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 and uh, uh, they're distinct. They're both good, right? Mm -hmm. But they're differences. Right, so so so, what sex do you want? You want a 
you want to sex male or you want to sex female. Yeah. Not gender. Gender yeah. don't, you know, it's just male my hair female. starts standing on the back of my neck. <laughs> the hair bitch. I no, it's have. standing on the top yeah, of his bitch, head. I don't that's, have how much, that's, how, that's how he doesn't like the, <laughs> how much he doesn't like the gender. Uh, but anyway, going back to Oxford Dictionary, there you see sex yeah. describes that as yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, anyway, now, now it becomes gender is everything. Yeah. Sex is like what people do in the bedroom. Um, but male or female, right? So, so what's the difference? So, so how, again, how to select, which should I get? Should I get male or should I get female? Now you got to understand is, um, 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 what's the function of the male or female in the nature? Yeah. You know, uh, in nature, a male, strictly biologically, is there to breed the female, yeah. right? To produce offspring. I remember I was once uh, reading a book or something or a little short story in magazine, and it said uh, they were talking to a computer, right? Mm -hmm. Back then, you know, like in 60s, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and the I, I remember I went to, when I was in college, I, we went to the place where the computer, it was like a big deal, you ask a computer, you would, yeah. you would type is what's the capital, you know, right. for uh, from Haiti, right? Mm -hmm. and, and and the computer would say, "Port out Prince," which everybody, wow, that's yeah. smart, right? Yeah. <laughs> now look yeah. at it now, right? But but anyway, so uh, uh, so they ask this computer in that story, "What's the purpose of life?" Yeah, right. And the answer was the computer answered, "Overcome death." The computer mm -hmm. said, which is fundamentally truth right yeah. i mean biologically to survive to survive yeah, yeah. To, to overcome death yeah to procreate and all yeah. the other stuff right yeah and life could be spiritually christian way and all, whatever but it's overcome death that's right? what the... yeah even in christian yeah. philosophy right yeah uh, or religion even yeah. overcoming death yeah that's what it's all about right? yeah so 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 in in, in in to overcome death right in the nature right that's yeah. where we were and um so what is the function of the male? Just to breed, right? Yep. And if he cannot breed because he got kicked ass by another male, which was stronger and more powerful and more dominant, he's going to breed again later, somewhere, maybe yep. one day, right? Yeah. Where females' so function in nature is to raise puppies. Which enthralls. Right? Which entails yeah. the... Yeah. Yeah. Other females trying to kill their puppies because that's a normal thing. You know, people say, oh, my dog killed this other female's puppy. She's vicious. No, that's normal. You're an idiot yeah. that you let that happen, number yeah. one. And number two, it happens to breeders, yeah. you know, by yeah. accident. You yeah. know. It happened story. to me, okay? Yeah. Yeah. What can I tell you? Yeah. But, uh, but that's what bitches do, mm -hmm. right? They go and kill the other female's puppy to to stop the gene going why should she why is it expedient for the in nature for the uh, puppies to be killed be, <clears throat> uh, from the other female to be killed right yeah because the other bitch was not strong enough to protect her puppies mm -hmm. so she, their puppies don't deserve to live yeah simple rules right in nature and no? why two females they fight ferociously to death literally yeah when they come in heat, yeah. Because again, same thing. They want to eliminate the other, the weaker bitches' mm -hmm. genetics mm -hmm. from the genetic pool, mm -hmm. right? So now, what does that make uh, when you're selecting the dog? What What are you looking at when you're looking at male and female? When you're looking for male, yeah, he can be badass because he's ready to be fight the other male for the breeding rights and territory and hunting territory and all that other stuff. Right, so he can breed like lions, right? You have one yeah. lion, and he has a bunch of females yeah. or, or elk or whatever, yeah. right? It's always yeah. the strongest male stays mm -hmm. in who can breed, mm -hmm. right? So you, the males are bigger, yeah, stronger, right? And uh, and 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 they're already kind of you know to to kick ass when it comes to it, but then again, they're not as tenacious. Yeah. Meaning, okay, if I'm going to kick, kick, kick my ass, I'm going to retreat so I can 
fight another day or breed another day. Yeah. Right? That's yeah. what female that's what males, males do. The males, yeah. They have the option to retreat from the fight when they sit when they see they're not gonna win. Yeah. Right? And uh <clears throat> so they can breed later. And then yeah. that way they procreate that particular type of breed gene. So now you so so that's a male, right? Male is willing to fight, but he's also willing to back off, you know. Mm. And and some males are pretty tenacious, but generally speaking, I'm talking as yeah. the as the as a group, just yeah. males. That's yeah. it. Just, yeah. you know, as a as a unit. Yeah. Where when you look at female for thousands of generations, literally, or even maybe hundreds of thousands, I don't know, from wolf and whatever was before wolf, right? Uh, up to now, for millions of years or hundreds of thousands of years, uh, 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 the bitch has to protect their pups, and so it was natural selection. Yeah. Either live or die, yeah. either her or her puppies. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So now when you get a female, all the genetic memory of those millions of years back is in it, in that dog you have. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so they're much more tenacious, they're much more alert, right? Yeah. You know, you have two dogs, you have male oh, and female. Man. Like, and like, you know, uh, you know, the male, you know, he may yeah. he may hear the female to start barking yeah, and he will he get up, up and he will kick yeah. ass. But she's the one who starts. Yes, yes, yes. Always like almost all right? the time. And that's yeah. because she's yeah. more alert. She needs to be yeah. on the ball all yeah. the time, sleeping yeah. or yeah. running. Doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. You know, and uh and, and and also she gotta be a little bit smarter, I hate to say, being man. <laughs> yeah. But but the German the the, the, the German shepherd or the the the, the dogs, uh, females gotta be smarter. Yeah. Right, because they got to be more crafty to protect their pups, to hunt yeah. for the pups. Yeah, he, right. She always takes the bull stuff away from. He, she collects stuff like right. away, and then he's like looking at it like, oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, and you know, yeah. and yeah. they they hoard these oh, they things, hoard. Yeah. right, yeah. for the puppies. Yeah, yeah. that's her. That's her yeah. instinct. Yeah, you know, instinct is something they don't even have to think about. And that's what you're buying when you're yeah. buying a female. Yeah, and they're much more protective yeah. than female. Does protection? She's serious. She takes it personally. I'm, you know, and and she will. She will not let go as easy. Meaning from the bite. Yeah. You know because it's not that why you buy the dogs that she doesn't want to let go, but 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 it tells you the the, ten, the tenacity of the yeah. female. Yeah. Because she just doesn't want to. Uh, she cannot afford to let go. Yeah. Right. Because. Because in nature, if she would let go, she's going to get killed. Everything is on the line for it's her. It's all over. Yeah. And this was going on for millions of years. Yeah. And now you have the product of it. And so that when you're getting a female, I like personally females better for that reason. You know, and yeah. they're smarter. They're just smarter yeah. than males. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they can figure shit out much better than male does if it's a complex situation. Yeah. I agree. Because they have to in order to survive. Man, ah, go, I'll yeah, kick your ass. Yeah, I'm big. Yeah. You know, chase you away. Well, if you chase me away, I'll come back later. Yeah, yeah. Right? 100%. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I like to use this example. During World War II, the SS units, the German elite units, their canine uh, handlers and program use 100% females. There you go. A little history for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. There's a reason why. Because yeah, and there's what, a reason why. The yeah. Germans, you know, they knew their shit and they still, yeah. they're kind of losing it now, but they used yeah. to, you know, and back then they knew. So if you want to train dogs for service protection yeah. and you have a family dog, that female is going to be better with your children and more protective of them mm -hmm. and stuff like that, right? But everybody said, oh, I want a big dark dog, you know, a German Shepherd, I want a male yeah. You know, and all that. Yeah. Don't look at it. You know, yeah. I, I, I can look at Hochichka. She's yeah. she's pushing 50 pounds, right? Yeah. Man, but she'll like kick your ass to King Gnome Come. They have higher drive. Yeah. I mean, not higher drive, higher, higher fight drive, I want to say. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. And there's many definitions of fight, definitions of fight drive, but uh, my definition is to bring the fight to the enemy. Mm -hmm. Ability to bring the fight to the enemy. Yeah. You know? for distance and, 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 and intensity, yeah, you yeah. know? So high fight drive, high intensity, like 
Horchichka, for example, yeah. she has super high intensity. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You tell her, put her right, she just goes, she, like, she, it becomes part of her. She's just completely yeah. absorbed by it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that's a, that's a typical female like that. Yeah. And there are here, there are more, you know, like, and I always say it this way too, you can look at it this way. Male dog is like your buddy, like you would have a friend. Mm -hmm. Where female dog for, you know, it's like a wife, you know, like a good wife, you know, which yeah. is another topic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, but yeah. you know, you are yeah. like a team, you know, yeah. you're more team, you know, mm -hmm. of that sort, you That's know. That's an interesting way of putting it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. you know, and even, you know, like, like, you know, for example, let's look at grizzly bears. You've seen the videos. There's this female grizzly bear, which has two, one or two cubs. Yep. And the male grizzly bear, he is going to come and he's bigger, much bigger, sometimes twice as big yeah. as the female. Yeah. And he will come and try to kill her pups. Yep. I mean, cubs. Yeah. And he will say, well, it's horrible. It's counterproductive. Absolutely not. Because if the female is weak, and let the big grizzly bear male kill her pups. She doesn't deserve to have those. I mean, cops. She doesn't deserve to have those. You know, genetically Be passed on yeah. survival of the fittest yeah. nature, yeah. right? And you can see the female grizzly. Ninety-nine point nine percent of the time, she'll kick ass if she's present there. Yeah. She'll kick ass of the giant, twice as big grizzly bear. Yeah, you know, because of ferocity. Yeah. And it's the same thing in dogs. You know, yeah. so the other thing what you're looking for is what sex, right? You should breathe, you should. Uh, yeah. And the, one of the other things is the color, right? Yeah. It, it's just like my pet peeve, you know. Unfortunately, everybody these days want a uh, dark sable dog with raccoon eyes, right? Yeah. Look, there are, and we should make a video of that. That's a pretty good one, too. The German Shepherd breed was created from m many different dogs in many different regions. And you can tell by the look what they are from, right? So I have that picture of these uh, Czech Border Patrol guys, and they have all different looking German Shepherds. Mm -hmm. And you can see the, you can see the different uh, origins of each of the bloodline of oh, those yeah. dogs, right? Mm -hmm. You have dogs with... Um, which are long shaggy ones, uh -huh. and that's uh, that that that's that's dogs from Pomerania, which is region, and they also created Pomeranian, uh -huh. which now is this miniature dog, but back yeah. then it was a normal sized dog. Okay, okay. and and uh, and then you have the Westphal and Saar and all, all these regions, mm -hmm. and you can tell by the way the dog looks, yeah. the characteristics, yeah. right? Yeah, and the dark sable dog is also from one of those regions, and they have also certain characteristics. But in my opinion, those characteristics of those sable dogs lacking natural protectiveness, okay. the sable one, you know, from that region. It, it, and that's being bred over, so now we may not see it as much. Okay. But let's say if you look at black and tan old, not, not the short looking yeah, dog, no, but, no. but short coat black and tan looking dog, like Bali Pantare, for example. Those dogs, they had presence, man. And and you don't see it that much in these sable dogs anymore, right? right? And unfortunately, these colors are becoming a fad. And yeah. and so you have you have the the fad of dark sable dog and, and nobody breeds the other color because nobody wanna buy them. So also breeding they're breeding here again for wrong they're breeding right. for the wrong well, or everywhere more basically yeah. is happening all over the, the world color now so color is also one of them in yeah a way. Like and, and the, the, yeah the color yeah, yeah. and yeah. so the, so so let's say let's say you know you're losing a lot of the natural protectiveness which was embedded in the dogs like Bali Pantare for example right which are black and red or black and tan normal short coat not not kind of uh, uh, plush coat, but uh -huh. really kind of short coat, uh -huh. you know, and then you have different kinds of sable, uh -huh. you know, and all that. There's this, you know, they have like a sable, there's, there's a line which had sable all over the face. Uh -huh. They didn't have a really dark nose, okay. but they were sable equally all over the body, okay. right? And then they were brindle German shepherds, which don't exist anymore, completely eliminated because people didn't like them. Brindle? Brindle, yeah, a stripe. Okay. 
you know, like a boxer, some of them are brindles. Brindles, yeah. Or maybe you've seen, yeah, you show yeah. pictures yeah, of that. Yeah, put it Look it up. There's yeah. a picture of one. People say it's a Dutch Shepherd, actually. Dutch Shepherd was actually developed from these brindle German Shepherds, okay. I think. That's my okay. theory on it, anyway. Uh, and, and they were badass, uh-huh. right? Yeah. Or they are still badass, yeah. you know, the Dutch, the Dutch Shepherds, yeah. right? So, so, so I remember Bali Pantarek, you bring him up. When I was with Yiri, you know, and uh, we went, uh, Yiri had this warped sense of humor, you know. So, so he says, well, let's, I got to take care of him. He had 150 or more dogs at that time to take care of, man, because he was maintaining five bloodlines. And he had dogs scattered around the people and for himself, you know. It was amazing what he did. Anyway. This was back in the Czech. Yeah, back just, in just Czech. To give so, people yeah, some. back in Czech. So yeah. I went, he, says, yeah. he says, come on, I got to take care of these dogs. So we hop in the car and drove to one of his locations where he had about 10 shepherds, right? Mm-hmm. Kennels there, and it was all fenced in and all mm-hmm. that, somewhere in the woods. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they said, well, come on in, he says. So I came in in that fenced area, and he opened yeah. the kennel. And there was Bali Pantare over there, man. And that dog at presence, what we call. Mm-hmm. In other words, you look in the ass and your ass, ass would pucker, mm-hmm. right? And that dog come to me, yeah. and I knew any better than do some sudden motions, right? Yeah. And he look at me, you know, he came to me and stopped about three feet from me, pretty damn close for yeah. comfort. And he didn't know me, it was the first time I met the dog. Yeah. And, and he looked me in the eyes, like, you know, like saying, all right, you want, you want dance? You know, yeah. and, <laughs> and I was just like, you know, finally, and he stood there and looking at me. <laughs> but like, you, you knew know, what, you know, I knew what's up, right? Because yeah. I could read the dog. Yeah, yeah. And Yuri was standing there and laughing his ass off because he knew exactly what's going on. Finally, saying, "Call the <laughs> fucking dog back, man!" Yeah, you yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, that was Bully, man. Oh man, I loved that dog. Oh, he produced some bad elbows, but. Temperament-wise, oh my God! Yeah, you know that was a, that was not German Shepherd, it was Mister German Shepherd, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, and so and we are we, by choosing these colors, which choosing just for sable, we're losing yeah. about five or six different types of dogs of German Shepherd. Okay. We are losing it. Yeah, you know, or the or the the the, the what's called patterned German Shepherd, um, or or even black and red or tan German Shepherd uh-huh. with so-called uh, uh, reverse mask. Uh-huh. It came from dog uh, X von Richtern, right? If you, it, it, you know how Zorro had the black yeah. mask. Well, imagine yes, the same mask except it's not black, but it's light colored, mm-hmm. tan in, in yeah. the case of German Shepherd. That's why it's called uh, uh, reversed uh, reversed mask, right? Yeah. And uh, because it reversed to what Zorro had, right? Uh-huh. You know? That's and, uh, and 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 those dogs, you look at the you look at your pedigree on pedigree database, and you go back about seven, eight generations, and you will see the dogs there. Uh-huh. Almost every one of them who has this reverse mask, um, this dog, X von Richtern, uh-huh. and if that dog is there once or twice, it, the genes are so strong that it permeates all the way today. Uh-huh. And that color, uh-huh. that mark uh-huh. of the reverse mask, always, almost like ninety percent of the time or is more, uh, if if it's caused by X von Richtern, uh-huh. is 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 creating dogs which are very serious, mm-hmm. you know, which will, which are which have a very high natural protectiveness, uh-huh. right? Still there. And yeah. it's still there, man. Mm-hmm. And and you, you 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 start losing that shit because people don't, don't breed for it. It's actually mm-hmm. considered fault, you know. Yeah. You know, I mean minor fault, but but you know, yeah. as far as working dogs go, who gives a damn, you know? So yeah. you know, you have the dog with reverse mask. I, I'll you know, I always <clears throat> love it, you know. Yeah. Another thing is when yeah. I'm when I'm selecting dog, you wanna you wanna make sure that you check what uh hip record the mm-hmm. breeder has, hips. you know, speaking of hips, right? Or elbows, you know, so you want to look at that. And one of the things is, you know, we can have a podcast just on the hips, right? Okay. But make it, and that would be complex, half an hour at least, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, but but you can look at, I look always 
look at puppies, right? Mm. And uh, I select one which has the biggest ass, not because I have big ass, <laughs> but the dog who has big ass means there's off muscles. Mm -hmm. That means they are using the rare legs. And when they are losing rare legs, they have a higher propensity of uh, having better hips. Okay. Because that's the dogs okay. who have bad hips, they have a narrow ass. Okay. Because they pushing the weight forward uh -huh. to the front legs. Yeah. And they are not using the rare legs, so the muscle atrophy in their ass. Yeah. Yeah. I know you talked about that at training. Yeah. When you you know, so it does. Uh -huh. It's not a. It's not a foolproof thing, but it's one of the things I look for. Yeah. Right. And then when you come there. And there is like a litter of pups behind the fence. Personally, I suggest that you don't touch the suckers, okay? Because you can bring some disease or something mm -hmm. like that. And you don't have to cuddle with the puppy. Yeah. You can cuddle with the puppy after you select it. That's fine. Yeah. But not before, right? So don't don't touch the puppies of the yeah. breeder, okay? Yeah. They yeah. don't like it most of the time if they know what they're doing. Yeah. And, uh, and I look at the puppies, right? Some of them, when you come to their kennel, they will run and bark at you, even at six, eight weeks. Mm -hmm. It's there. You know, they're, they're just, wah, 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 wah. who the fuck are you? Right? Yeah. Well, that, what, what do you think that dog is going to be when he yeah. grows up, right? Yeah. You know, it's yeah. going to be a very protective dog, you know, which is going to be territorially aware and has a good natural protectiveness. Yeah. But it better be ready to deal with it. That's okay? what I was going to say, that because it's yeah, just, there is training. Just, you gotta, just, just when you want yeah. a dog, don't yeah. don't pick up the one, ones which is most active and most aggressive and most driven, especially for family protection. Yeah. Right? You may want to select the one if you want to be a member of a SWAT team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. But, uh, but you can, and, you know, the point is this, right? You should be able to take any, even the most aggressive puppy. Yes, and then... And turn it into a family dog. You just gotta have to have more knowledge, yeah. how to do it and how to establish leadership position and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And if you are kind of permissible, softer person, it's probably not good for a dog for you. Not, yeah. not good puppy, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, and so and and then again, now we have the puppy which is sitting in the corner, just sitting there and all that, right? Yeah. And so, so you know, I I saw I actually selected quite a few dogs like that. Mm -hmm. And, and, and seems like, you know, this how the, the runs, right? Smaller, mm -hmm. hanging back. Mm -hmm. And, so, you know, the runt is, 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 is actually, could be pretty damn tough dogs because in order to survive in that litter, to they got to be tough, tough because yeah. they're small and kind of, yeah. you know. Yeah. You know, so, so you got to kind of always project when you're looking at the puppy, yeah. multiply that thing which you see there by 100 and that's what you're gonna get when you when the dog yeah. matures yeah uh, it shows up right there yeah and you can tell when you are breeder i can tell the moment the puppies are born what puppy is gonna be yeah, what been because doing it long enough the, that, well yeah. it's I mean, not that hard you you can well, you look you look at the, <laughs> not hard for you no no it's uh, not that hard at all right. you look at you look at the puppy and see which one fights the most vigorously for the teeth mm-hmm Right, that one is gonna be a badass. Okay, he has the has, has, he has the he has the drive uh, to yeah. to to fight for the tip, yeah. right? And the other puppy should be pushed away. That's probably gonna be a run, you know. Yeah. And if he survives, well, maybe he's still gonna be a good dog. Yeah. But and people tend to either pick up the most aggressive one or mm -hmm. the most soft one. Uh -huh. You know, the the underdog syndrome, uh -huh. right? Either the middle is the one where... The yeah, the middle is the one if you have family, kind of the middle, kind of there. Yeah. But again, it depends how experienced you are and what you yeah. want and all that, right? Yeah. And I know, yeah, I mean, training with Hans for two years now, it's, you know, I didn't know nothing, which I agree with Hans, you know, that, that it's a better way of to have someone like me in the sense it wasn't tainted to come and didn't know nothing. And then, he you know, he trained me. I mean, train my dog or train me to train my dog. Uh, but it's it's so difficult in the beginning when you, you never had a dog and you have this influence of social, you know, like YouTube now. Like I bring up YouTube because you guys are probably watching this on YouTube and people getting information from YouTube. And there's so little of this, what we're saying here, knowledge of Hans versus the other one. I'm not being biased because, you know, we're friends. I'm just saying the way I see it now. I see the picture a lot more clearly after two years, but it took me a while to, to do that. Yeah. You know? One so. of the thing is, you know, when I started, 
uh, I said you need to find a breeder you trust, right? And yeah. and if you have to ask other people about that breeder or about the other dogs, just forget it. Don't don't don't. You know you got trust the breeder, yeah. and then <coughs> uh, uh, listen to what the breeder tells you, right? Like when some people come. And I can see the family and rowdy kids and father carrying baby and yeah. and, and and they have a lot of going on. Yeah. And they want to pick up the highest driven dog. Uh, oh my God. Yeah. I said, don't select that. And they say, Oh, but I like that one. <laughs> you know? All right, well, get whatever you want, but I think that one would be better. But I don't like he has a white little spot on the chest. Yeah. I said, okay, you know, what's the white spot? You know. Yeah, it's not gonna matter when. Yeah, you have it's a not major gonna matter issue. when you, yeah. you know, when when you suddenly start dealing with his super drive, yeah, you know, or higher drive than you are able to. Yeah, yeah. You know. Um, yeah, I just want to pick your brains on this, Hans, as a layperson buying a dog. Like, what are these? Well, I think you hit some key points. Not just buying a breeding. Oh, breeding, yeah, yeah, breeding too, obviously. Um, but well, uh, really. About as far as the breeding well, goes, yeah. as far as the breeding yeah. goes, I w I cannot overemphasize what I started with, and that's your versatility. Yeah. Please, I beg you, don't specialize the breeding of a German Shepherd in narrow focus, right? And when you're buying, you vote with your dollar, and don't vote for narrow focus bred dogs. That's it. Yeah, I would. I think that's that's the best way of ending this. I think this was educational for me too, even though we have a lot of talks, Hans and I. But um, it's just a constant learning. I learned so much from Hans. It's just like a never-ending process. Like I thought I learned something after two years, and I'm like, oh, I don't know anything. <laughs> well, you know, it's kind of funny because yeah. when we started this podcast series, yeah. I was always wondering, what the hell am I going to talk about, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. We have so many topics we, that I think I will die first before we record all this. Pretty much. I mean, there's it's <laughs> endless, uh, but they're all good, useful. We want to make all, all, always. We I know Hans. Hans usually doesn't say stuff without having a purpose for it. That's kind of what I've seen over the years of your teaching. There's always a purpose behind whatever. Yeah, this I do statement. best when I'm responding to yeah. question yeah. rather than yeah. trying to jibber jabber on my yeah. own. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, thank you, Hans. Uh, yeah, this was thank educational. You, man. So um, please subscribe to the uh, to the channel. We we'd love to uh, uh, to uh, to send you the new episodes. And uh, Hans also. And what has, is that thing I cannot remember? Oh, share, share, share. <laughs> subscribe and share. Subscribe. Subscribe, yeah, subscribe and, share. and share, share with your friends. And make sure you go to uh, Alpine K9 Real. Uh, that's the website, Alpine K9 Real .com, and that's where all the educational videos are personal protection, puppy feeding, uh, obedience, basic obedience, all, yeah. all sorts of things. And we're gonna, add, we're gonna be adding other, other videos uh, there also too. So thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. Sayonara. <laughs>